Most of the time, when we see a dominating feature in a painting, like a color, or in this case, a figure, we immediately assume that its story revolves around that. And we would be right, because a focal point in an artwork is how an artist opens his or her story, but most of the time only. The title baffles me though. She doesn't look bloody at all. The artist Arnaldo Mirasol explains that the title Bloody Mary doesn't refer to the love lone girl, but to the cocktail in the long stemmed glass. He goes on to comment on the effects of liquor ads, which for many years now have been targeting women. They are portrayed as sophisticated and cosmopolitan, which they are most of the time, he adds. As a result, seeing women, including teenage girls, in raucous drinking sessions, not only inside homes, but also on the streets, has become acceptable. But in Mirasol's work, she is only visible to nature. It is interesting that the artist says she is lovelorn. That wasn't the impression that I got as I saw a woman who is contemplative. But his explanation has now influenced my perception, especially when I look into her eyes. The moon symbolizes a female and a crescent shape, which we see all over, symbolizes love. She is wrapped in horizontal lines, which in art imply melancholy, so she is lovelorn. The blue color suggests relaxation, power, and dignity. So she is drinking socially and hopefully moderately in spite of the bottle beside her. In Greek mythology, Cupid uses an anthurium like the one adorning her hair to make people fall in love. When will the new love come? We don't know. But in the meantime, she spends time with herself, her drink, her guitar, and her faithful cat. With her intellect, she doesn't need a man to find joy. How do I know she's smart? Well, surprisingly in art, watermelon symbolizes intellectual prowess. Beige is the color for unity, suggesting that her intellect and emotion, or her mind and heart, are one in her pursuit of joy. Orange symbolizes joy, and as it serves her backdrop, it is in the horizon for her. Whether that joy will come from love, from a man, or from loving herself first, we don't know. We can only wish her well. But know what? Loving oneself is essential. Art is essential. Mm -hmm.